If after performing the primary survey, you find someone who is unresponsive and not breathing normally, call for help. Ask someone to call 999 or 112 and ask them to bring an AD if one is available while you begin CPR immediately. If you're on your own, make the call yourself, ideally by using a mobile on speakerphone so that you can begin CPR as soon as possible. You will need to start with chest compressions. Kneel down beside the casualty's chest, place one hand center on the chest, and place the heel of your other hand on top and interlock your fingers to lift them off the ribs. Lean over the casualty with your arms straight and press down on the chest to five to six centimeters. Release the pressure, allowing the chest to come back up without removing your hands from the chest. Repeat this to give 30 chest compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. This is quite fast. To help you keep pace, you can sing Staying Alive. After 30 chest compressions, you need to give rescue breaths. If you have not been trained or unwilling or unable to give rescue breaths, Continue with chest compressions only until help arrives or the casualty becomes responsive. To give rescue breath, make sure the airway is open by tilting the head back with one hand on the forehead and two fingers under the chin. Pinch the soft part of the nose and allow their mouth to fall open. Take a deep breath and seal your mouth around theirs. Blow steadily into their mouth, giving a rescue breath in about one second. Their chest should rise. Remove your mouth from theirs and watch their chest fall. Give them two rescue breaths like this. Continue to alternate 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. If someone can help you perform CPR, you can swap over every one to two minutes with minimal interruption to chest compressions. If there's someone there who can help, if they have brought you an AED, ask them to turn it on and follow the instructions while you continue CPR. Continue CPR until emergency help arrives and takes over. The Kelsey starts to show signs of becoming responsive. They start breathing normally or opening their eyes or you become too exhausted to continue. If they do start breathing normally, again, place them in the recovery position, monitor them, and prepare to start CPR again if necessary. So remember, if you come across an adult who is unresponsive and not breathing normally, call for help. Ask a caller to call 999 or 112 for emergency help and ask them to bring an AED. If you're on your own, may the call yourself, ideally by using a mobile on speakerphone so that you can begin CPR. Give 30 chest compressions, followed by two rescue breaths. Continue giving 30 compressions and two rescue breaths until help arrives or they become responsive. If an AED is available, continue CPR while the instructions from the device are followed by your helper. And that's how we perform CPR. If this video has been helpful to you, help support St. John Ambulance by going to sja.org.uk forward slash donate.